Hi guys, it's Matt here from Maxon UK, and in this quick start tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at hair. So let's just create ourselves an object to put hair on, which I shall use this sphere for, and then I shall make it editable because I want to limit where the hair is going to be created. And that's easily done through creating a polygon selection. So just by simply selecting the polygons that you want to only appear, apply hair to, and then going to simulate, hair objects, add hair and boom it creates this hair instantly in no time whatsoever now hair is automatically dynamics enabled so if I press play you can see that it sinks down and gives you a really sort of interesting headbanger look it's Mr. M Mr. Majika thing going on there um, you can control that really easily using the dynamics so you can untick and disable dynamics completely or you can leave ticked and enable rigid which means that then if I move the sphere object it will have a kind of reaction to it so whilst the hair is staying relatively rigid it will have a sort of secondary motion to it so just going to go back to my hair and disable that for the moment now the hair object itself covers quite a variety of different things so you've got the guides and that allows you to see the number of actual guides that are on here so you can lower or increase that to give you a rough idea as to how many there's going to be You've got the length of those guides, and again, your hair object will respond to that. So if you've got short guides, you will have short hair creation. Okay, and the number of segments, which I shall get to a little bit later. Then you actually have the number of hairs, so you can limit that. So if I just put a thousand in and then render, you can see that we've got very few. Or I could just put an extra zero in there and then render, and you can see that we've got an awful lot more and that's where our segments come into play so the more segments that we have in there um, a little bit later on will be better for the actual hair itself and you've got the editor previews and then the generations but largely we're going to be focusing on the guides and the hairs themselves today so you've got our hairs there looking absolutely crazy um, but what you can do is you can go up to simulate and then you can choose the mode that they are visible in so tips, roots, points and you can see from the the image is exactly what difference that's going to show you. It doesn't make much of a difference when you're sort of editing stuff at this point anyway. So I'm going to use the hair tools and you've got stuff easily like brush, which does simply allow you to brush stuff backwards or forwards or you know where you want to go. And if you want a particular sweep, this is really useful. And you can just, you know, keep using the angles to work your way backwards, you know with whatever and your guides will will work that way you can increase and decrease the size of this brush so if you wanted to give sort of a massive sweep backwards or then if you wanted to you know really just have individual hairs that you wanted to create then it's really easy to do and your hair will respond in that way looking very odd you can tell I'm not hairdresser can't you it's probably a good a good job that I'm not you also have uh, clumping so you can choose to you know clump the hair all together in one go let's have a look at render of that there we go this is very interesting oh so sort of making a rick astley thing going on here this is this is very interesting um so also going into simulate you know you can curl as well and that will uncurl and recurl let's have a look at this i bet it's even more rick astley oh it's a bit too much there maybe just soften that a bit there we go um, I'm really liking that and then you know we've got a few other tools so you could cut if you wanted so if some of the hairs were too long you just simply drag over them and it will allow you to cut some of those hairs short um, and you've got full manipulation over that really there we go and it gives you that sort of shorn edge again having a look over them so you can push the hairs or straighten and that will kind of put them back to their original location which is really useful so there you go that is a really quick introduction to hair and then how it you know sort of is easily manipulatable to give you some you know 
nice movement there. When it comes to the colour and the size and you know the thickness and kinking and frizzing and stuff like that I will get to in another video. So I hope that was a useful sort of kickstart for your um, Cinema 4D hair career and I will catch you next time.